The first step is to know the integrity of God's Word. Develop the highest level of faith. The first essential step is to understand the trustworthiness of God's Word. It is crucial to recognize that God's Word is exactly what it proclaims to be. The Word of God is a divine revelation to humanity. Additionally, it is important to acknowledge that the Bible is God communicating with us in the present moment. The Bible is not solely a historical or future-oriented document, but it is also relevant in the present. This divine book, the Bible, is a message that is breathed, indwelt, and inspired by God. Hebrews 4 verse 12 For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a deserter of the thought and intents of the heart. Moffat's translation reads, For the Logos, word of God is a living thing. You see, quick means alive or living. The word of God is a living entity, and it becomes active in your life when you accept it and put it into practice. Therefore, the initial step in developing strong faith is to firmly believe in the absolute truth of God's word. God's word should hold the highest significance in your life. Some individuals may think that they haven't heard from God unless they receive a message in tongues or a prophecy, but God communicates with us through his word, the Bible. Tongues, interpretations, or prophecies should not be elevated above the sacred written word of God. The word of God comes first. The gift of speaking in tongues, interpreting tongues, and prophecy are vocal gifts intended to inspire us in accordance with the written word of God. If someone speaks something that doesn't align with the word, it's not the Holy Spirit at work, but rather the individual speaking from their own thoughts or influenced by a wrong spirit. It's important to evaluate these expressions in the context of the Bible, as we are instructed to do so. The Word of God holds utmost significance because it is God communicating with us. I've always upheld this belief and have consistently acted in accordance with the Word, as if Jesus Christ himself were personally speaking to me. Embracing this understanding is a significant step towards grasping faith. Arguing about the Word is unnecessary. It's surprising how many people try to evade certain truths in the Bible or rationalize them. It's important to simply accept the Bible for what it says and live by its teachings. Some individuals seem to want the Word to convey specific messages, so they interpret it according to their own desires, regardless of whether those messages are actually in the Word. We should only believe what the Word explicitly states, not what we assume it says. When you truly delve into studying the Word and embrace it as it is, you'll question why you believe certain things the way you did. It's truly astonishing to see the beliefs that people hold which aren't actually supported by the Word. Often, we accept what others say about the Word instead of discovering its truths for ourselves. During my time confined to bed due to illness, I found my way by dedicating myself to studying the Bible. I focused my studies on faith and healing, topics that were not emphasized in my church. As I delved deeper into the Word of God, I became increasingly convinced of the truth of faith and healing. Despite the teachings of my church, I made the decision to live according to the Word because I believe it is the current voice of God speaking to us. I found that accepting the Word of God as God speaking to me now was a pivotal factor in winning about 60% of the battle of faith. I had to go against the teachings of my church and my family's beliefs in order to truly believe in the Word of God. Sometimes we prioritize the traditions of the church over the teachings of the Bible and end up acting more like members of a church rather than born-again believers. It's surprising how even our loved ones, who we believe have our best interests at heart, can become obstacles to following God's Word and may unknowingly hinder us. While seeking healing through studying the Word of God, I noticed that my family members were discouraging rather than supporting me. As a result, I chose to stop discussing faith and healing with them and decided to quietly obey God's word on my own. It's important to acknowledge out loud that God's word is God speaking to me.